Hey, and welcome back to the road to Ryzen. Just now, a lot of popular websites and YouTubers have released more Ryzen information because they went to the AMD Ryzen press event. Me, small YouTuber from the Netherlands, wasn't invited to that, but I'm following the news as it gets released. So they officially introduced the Ryzen 1700, 1700X and 1800. And I wanted to start a little discussion about the 1700X and the 1800X. Because, eh, just looking off to the side for the specifications, the 1700X is 3.4 GHz base with a boost of 3.8 GHz and sells for 399 but the 1800X it has a uh, base of 3.6 GHz and boosts all the way up to 4 GHz. That's really nice. But it's 499. So you get a base and boost of 200 MHz more for $100. Is it worth it? I mean, if I'm, go I'm, I'm going to overclock the CPU manually anyway, that's why I got the Ice Bear 360, is it then worth getting an 1800X for $100 more? It's only 200 megahertz. So here's my question to you. What do you think? What makes the 1800X special? I mean, are they specially binned and will they over overclock to 4.5, 4.8 gigahertz on water cooling and the 1700X only to 4.2, 4.3 gigahertz? Or do you think they're really the same chip and basically they're just trying to sell the higher version to people who aren't going to overclock manually and that the 1700X is the best bet for that. For me, personally, when the pre-orders go live this evening, I'm getting, going to get a 1700X because I don't think the 200 megahertz or the, the overclock uh, headroom you'll get with the 1800X is actually worth the 100 euros or dollars or whatever it's going to cost here in the Netherlands. <laughs> Nobody knows. So... Yeah, let me know what you think. I think it's a very interesting proposition there. I mean, I'm kind of torn what to do, but I think I'm going to go for the 1700X. So, other than that, uh, since this is a Road to Ryzen video, I'm going to show you some products I'm going to be using in my new build. And, well, um, I'm going to need some fans. So, I got some NZXT fans. These are the AR RGB uh, 120 and the 140s. Now, the case, the Fantax P400S has space for three times 120 in the front, a one times 120 in the back, and two times uh, 140 in the top. So I'll be using the included fans with the Ice Bear 360 on the front, three times, and then one AR RGB 120 in the back, and then these two AR uh, RGB 140s in the top. Now that would give me negative pressure if I would run all of those at the same power and the fans would be comparable in air pressure. But since I'm going to be controlling all the fans manually anyway, I'll make sure I'll still keep positive pressure in the case. Now what makes these fans special is the RGB-ness. If that's a word. Is RGB-ness a word? I don't know. Anyway, um, as I said, I'm doing an RGB build and I'm mostly basing it on black with white accents. And these fans each have eight individually uh, addressable pixels, which you can lit up in any color and pattern and stuff like that. So to go with that, I have a internal USB hub. What? No. Well, yes, but I need this for the NZXT U+. So to control the RGB-ness of these fans, you need a controller. And I got the full U+, kit, because it comes with RGB strip with it. But, but Quinor, your Fantex P400S comes with RGB strip too. Yes, although that's correct. There's a difference between these two types of RGB strip. The Fantex strip you can set to a color for the whole strip. These strips, as with uh, these fans, are individually pixel addressable. 
So that gives you a lot more options in, in patterns or light flows or whatever you want the RGBs to do instead of one static color and breathing and stuff like that. So I'm hoping that's going to look nice and not very gaudy, although it probably can. <sighs> we'll have to see about that. So, um, yeah, uh, as I said before, I'd like you, I hope maybe you'll want to follow me along to the road to Ryzen. I'll be sure to put in my pre-orders tonight. And uh, let me know what you think of, about the 1700X to 1800X discussion. I mean, is it worth getting an 1800X for 200 megahertz and $100? I don't know, but I wonder what you think. So, yeah, see you in the next video. Bye.